Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to read, read Together with Aysar um, al-Tafasir. I'm going to number the paragraphs by surah. So that's surah number one, surah al-Fatiha. And then the ayah or the beginning ayah number one. Of course, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, some scholars label that as number one. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen is number one. And then each point, each sub paragraph after that. So Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem. He says, anything in blue is, I've added some additional help notes. And the black text is from him and the footnotes are in grey. Surah Al-Fatiha, the surah called Al-Fatiha. وَهِيَ مَكِّيَةٌ It is a Meccan surah. وَآيَاتُهَا سَبْعٌ And its verses are seven. And there's a footnote with آيَاتُهَا And the Shaykh writes, الْآيَةٌ فِي اللُّغَةِ الْعَلَامَةِ The word آيَةٌ in linguistically, i.e. in the language, means a sign. وَمِنْهُ قَوْلُ الشَّاعِرِ and an example of that, who is the saying of the poet, تَوَهَّمْتُ آيَاتٍ لَهَا فَعْرَفْتُهَا لِسِتَّةِ أَعْوَامٍ وَذَلْعَامُ السَّابِعُ So this is a, a, a line of poetry by one of the last Jahili poets whose name was An-Nabigha, An-Nabigha Al-Dubiyani. And so he writes, Tawahamtu, and I had some, uh, I was not sure. Ayatin laha, I was not sure of the ayat, i.e., the signs for her. And he's referring to his house. So he's a poet who's been to the courts of the kings of Iraq and then the Ghassanids in northern Arabia. And eventually, then he comes back to his home which is on the outskirts of Mecca. So he's come back to his house, and it's obviously ruined. Then he sees those ruins, so he says, I, I was tawahamto, I was not sure, but I kept on looking at these indications or signs. Laha fa'araftuha, and then I knew it. I, I knew the house. Li sittati a'wam, and here li means actually after, ba'da. Ba'da sittati a'wam, and after six years. وَذَا الْعَامُ السَّابِعُ And that is the year, the seventh, the seventh year. So there's just a help note here. لِسِتَّةِ أَعْوَامِ The use of li to mean ba'da is the same in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَوْضُ بِنَشَادِ الرَّجِيمِ أَقِمِ الصَّلَاةِ لِدُلُوكِ الشَّمْسِ أَيْ بَعْدَ الزَّوَالِ الشَّمْسِ Establish the prayer. Li here means after, ba'da. Ba'da duluk al-shams. After the zawal, after the... Zawal of the Shams. About the Zawal is Shams, a Zawal from the time of Zawal when the sun is at its highest uh, after the forenoon. So, Aqim is Salah li duluk is Shams ila ghasaq il layl until the night. So, it covers all the Salahs except for Fajr, which comes in the latter part of the ayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.